Get ready to match the star, Bill Anderson, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley. From the new show Sugar Time, D.D. Carr, Richard Dawson, and Marsha Wallace as we play the star-studded big money match game 78. And now, here's the star of match game 78, Gene Renner. You will all be pleased to know that our good luck talisman, Mark Goodson, is somewhere on the premises. I just saw him briefly and said hello to him. He's in and out like a flash here. And so we're all going to be on our best behavior, aren't we? Uh -huh. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> now let's welcome Mary Ann Henry and Mike Dixon. Applause, applause, applause. Mary Ann has won $100. She's won one game. And she thinks she's on the verge of winning another game. Because Mike has had his two questions. He's matched one celebrity, and all you have to do is match one to tie and two to win. We'll see how this ends right after we do this for you. See? Money for him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Now, this is the last question of the last round. Mary Ann, one to tie and two to win. Two. <laughs> you. Yeah. You're smiling, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get back to my evil ways. Yes. I'm well, sitting next to an evil woman. Yes. Oh, yes. The evil woman. Evil. Ralph evil. said, when I was a kid, I really had it tough. In fact, after I was born to get home from the hospital, I had to blank. <laughs> well, now, don't do it if it's not natural. Somebody out there knows something I don't. Ralph said, when I was a kid, I really had it tough. In fact, after I was born, to get home from the hospital, I had to blank. <laughs> now, that's a simple, evil, straightforward, straightforward, direct... Well, I finished. Um, finished. Yeah, all right, yes. Evil people are fast. Evil people are faster, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> evil can evil Dawson. <laughs> all right, Marianne Henry. Ralph said... You fooling around up there, Charles, are you ready? Oh, well, you never can tell with him. <laughs> I think he's keeping a diary up there. Oh, that's page two coming up. Charles! Oh, dear me. And now you won't be able to understand it. Well, I'll read it, it while he's writing, because he's got his answer. Ralph said, when I was a kid, I really had it tough. In fact, after I was born, to get home from the hospital, I had to blank. Hitchhike? Yeah. Hitchhike. Hitchhike, eh? I thought, of, I thought of two things. That was not one of them. What did you think of? Really? I did think of that, except I said hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. That's a match. Okay, score of time. One more hitchhiker will win the game for her. What? <laughs> you must not take these short naps. <laughs> I like to prolong these bad answers as long as possible. I said walk. Walk was one of the things I thought of. Oh, thank you. You're so walk. kind. But hitchhike is good. Like yes. That means all people that are evil hitchhike? <laughs> is that what it means? That's terrible. I don't know. Oh, you're smiling again. Oh, right. uh, now you've got to stop this smiling, Richard. Hello, Charles. I said break out by tying diapers together and going down the laundry chute. <laughs> Tying the diapers together and escaping down the laundry chute. When I was born to get home from the hospital, I had to... After tying the diapers together and going yeah. down the laundry chute, get to a phone and call a cab. Call a cab. Perfectly logical. All right. Now we come to your answer. It's your ride. It's your ride. Win the day. What'd you have? Well, Mike, I hope you get a job in the newspaper soon. You're an experienced, capable, well-trained guy. Mike Dixon, formerly of the Chicago Daily News. Some gifts coming your way. Thank you very much.
Well, now she's got another hundred dollars. She's getting up there, doing it the hard way. Let's see if she gets the big one now. You could win over five thousand dollars here. Good luck to you. We poll the studio audience. You said you write down your best answer to this. Rita Blank. Now, if you match the answer they wrote down most frequently, you get five hundred dollars. For matching their second most frequently given response, you get two hundred and fifty dollars. And then for matching the third, you get a hundred dollars. Three of our six celebrities will hip you. Richard. Well, Gilda, Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth, yeah. Brett. Rita Marino. Rita Marino. Marsha. Rita Coolidge. Yeah. I've done it again. I don't even know. Well, now, the audience seemed to give you three uh, almost equal responses on all of the three Ritas you got. It's up to you to choose one of those three readers, Moreno, Hayworth, or Coolidge, or give us one of your own. Hayworth. You want to say Rita Hayworth? Mm -hmm. All right. The answer that Richard gave you. Let's find out if we have a Rita Hayworth up there. May we see the $100 number? Rita Coolidge. The audience uh, felt that Very might be up there, and it is. Right May we see the $250 number? Rita oh, Moreno. You got it, hon. Yeah. I think you got it, by Jove. Don't you think she's got it? All right, show it to her. Yeah. Congratulations. Now you're up to seven hundred dollars. Why you only won five hundred dollars here? That means you play for it. Ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. That's the importance of that. And we'll give you the money if you'll match one celebrity exactly. Richard. Okay. Good luck to you. Uh, if you face me, I think it'd be a little better than facing him, because you might be a lip reader. <laughs> okay. Ready. Busy as blank. Busy as blank. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but don't say the answers out loud because, you know, it might be the wrong one or it may not be the one that he's written down. You have to match him, busy as blank, for $5,000. A beaver? Busy as a beaver. Okay. She said busy as a beaver will match you. They're busy little animals, aren't they? Yes, yeah, busy as a bee. Busy as a bee. Yeah, you know... <laughs> I think uh, somebody in the audience, uh, did you hear somebody say something in the audience? I thought they said beaver. <laughs> you thought they said beaver and you listened to them. That's but, why but we but asked. That's what, that's what I thought. That's oh, what you, I thought. Oh, you would have given that answer. Yeah, I would have anyway. All right. Beavers are busy little creatures. They dam up the rivers and they, mm -hmm. and they eat the leaves and the branches and all that, and they're always working. Anyway, you've got a total of $700, Marianne. You're going to meet another player later. Right now, we've got this message for America. We are ready to welcome another player. Would you all applaud Mary Porter? Okay, Mary. Let's hear it for Mary Porter. We welcome you. Thank you so much. We'd like to find out a little bit about you before we begin our game. What would you like to tell I'd us about? I'd be happy to tell you. Yes. Yes. Please do. Okay. I'll, I'll sit here and, and wait for you okay. to say something to me. I'm from a little town in upstate New York. Called? Called... Central Bridge. You've Central, never heard of it. Oh, no, it's Central Bridge. I know upstate New York quite Do you really? well. I used to live in Garrison, worked in Poughkeepsie and Newburgh. What county oh, are you in? I'm farther north than oh, that. Oh, you're farther north. Fulton County in Scary oh, Fulton. County. Oh, yes. It's beautiful yes. up there. Mm -hmm. Mountainous, isn't it? Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in California? I'm out here on a vacation visiting my son. Wasn't it nice of you to drop in and visit uh, us, too? Oh, you don't know the best part of it. What is the best part? <laughs> well... I have five. I thought this was the best part. I mean, I like your son and all that, but this ain't bad either. I have five children, 23 yes. grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. You know, it's mighty cold up in those mountains. It's but they found a way to keep warm, didn't they? So I promised them I would get on your show yes. and say hi. To all those people? And I wasn't going home until I got on the show. Well. But now I got to do this to the little kitties and tell them I'm on, now I'll be home. Yes. 
Well, if you don't come up with some good answers, you'll be home sooner than you think. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> good luck to you, Mary. Here we go. Mary Porter, you're going to start things off by choosing A or B. A. A. All right. I'm glad she didn't ask to mention all those grandchildren by name. Well, Hello, like Harriet, John, yeah. George, Sally, Bill, Fonzie. Did you hear about the mad scientist? No. Who? Oh, wait till I tell you about him. <laughs> wait, I tell you, wait, wait, don't, don't rush me now. Is this the Isn't one who crossed the elephant with the skin diver? Yes, oh, you've heard about him. Re reading about Matt him. Oliver, he crossed a, uh, the mad scientist crossed an elephant with a skin diver, and now he's got the only elephant in the world with blank. <laughs> Mad scientist. Where did I go wrong? Crossed an elephant with a skin diver. No. Just take it at face value. Did you hear all that, Mary Porter? Half of it. Well, I'll, I'll give you the other half of it. Well, I'll just uh, uh, add limit to it. This Mad scientist yes. crossed an elephant with a skin diver. Mm -hmm. Now he's got the oh, only elephant in it. the world with blank. Is that pretty close? Shh. All right. What? I'm finished. I finally got it. <laughs> Richard, you've got good eyesight. You see what he did? When I accidentally dropped the card like that, he just went zip, bing. He read four sentences in two seconds. Now, could an evil person do that? No. No. <laughs> Oh, you he smiled again. He can't be too evil. I know. That's an evil person. All right, Mary. Specialty. Did you hear about the mad scientist who crossed an elephant with a skin diver? You know what a skin diver oh, is? Oh, yes. Of course. At my age? Yes. <laughs> now, he's got the only elephant in the world with blank. What's those things they put on their feet? Flippers? Yes, the flippers. Oh, the skin divers use those. Very good. Mary's okay. Yes. I thought the best answer would be swimming trunks. Trunks. Oh. <laughs> you I didn't meant, say that. Hey, though. I meant flippers, but I wasn't sure how to spell it, so I wrote fins. Fins and flippers, same thing. I spell terribly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is a skin diver a person who dives for skin, or are they no. going? To... No. 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 Oh well, what the heck? I said wetsuit. Wetsuit is something. Something only what? Only in the world with wetsuit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was gonna Daddy, say to <laughs> swimming trunks, but I didn't chicken out. I said it anyway. <laughs> swimming trunks. Swimming trunks. Because elephants have trunks. That's why you said that, Mary Porter. He was a little. Uh, play on words there. All right, Didi Carr, what do you say? A tank suit. A tank suit. Right. All right, Richard, show us your flippers. You got them. He got flippers. <laughs> now we'd like to see yours, too. Now, listen, hon, I wish I'd brought them. I am a skin diver, you know. That's right. That's how she got own... her suntan. Yes, I've got my very own flippers. Flippers! Flippers! <laughs> Uh, she's off to a flying start there with three, Marianne. Let's see how you do now. Mike, the male chauvinist, said, You know the saying, a woman's place is in the kitchen? Well, I take it one step further. I think a woman's place is in the blank. <laughs> Mike, the male chauvinist. Marsha and I refuse to answer that question. So tacky. <laughs> Don't we, darling? I, I, uh, You're a woman's rightist? Well, I do think that, uh... All right. That man is very pushy. Sounds very pushy to me. Yeah. Well, put him down. Uh, ready? I'm ready, man. You're ready. I'm ready. ready man. You ready? I'm, ready, I'm not ready. sure. All right. I will make my way to Mary Ann Henry. Smiling Mary Ann. Mike, the male chauvinist, said... Come on, Brett, put it in the slot there. All right. Said, you know the saying, a woman's place is in the kitchen? Well, I take it one step further. I think a woman's place is in the blank. The bedroom. The bedroom. <laughs> she said the bedroom. You heard her say the bedroom. Plain as day. What do you say? <laughs> I just said in the bed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes? I said in the basement. In the basement. 
Woman's place is in the basement, doing the washing and ironing. Yes. What do you say? I don't know. I just took it a step further from the kitchen. Yes. Where is that? The disposal. The disposal. Did you say that was a hostile remark? Now, that's a chauvinist pig. Right? I think he hates women. And I'm sitting next to him. <laughs> but he loves you. All right, Didi Carter. What did you do? One step further, I think a woman's place is in the. Well, all the male chauvinists I know think yes. that women belong in the delivery room. <laughs> in the delivery room. Okay. What was this guy's name? Uh, Mike, the male chauvinist. He says, a woman's place is in the kitchen. I take it a step further. I say, a woman's place is in the... Oven. Oven. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but I'm not a chauvinist, so I wouldn't know That's what. right. He's not. I think we have some people who feel hostile toward the opposite sex no, here. No. no. No, absolutely no. not. I'm no. trying to answer for that idiot. Oh, I see for this guy. I got so worked up over the question that I got confused. She's in the stove. That's in the hot stove, hot. yes. Mike, the male chauvinist. We mustn't invite him back again very soon at all. So here we are at the end of round one. Three to one the score in favor of Mary Porter. Round two comes along after this. Today's consolation prizes are first. Our master mechanic shop vac picks up water, dry materials inside or out. Master mechanic shop vac exclusively from Two Value Hardware Store. And a beautiful assortment of jewelry in the Golden Manor of Monet, designed and crafted by Monet, a master jeweler. And from Ventura, a jumbo wheel Pullman in dazzling day with nylon full strap, intended to save the wheel o -matic, really gets you rolling. And St. Mary's crisp, easy pair sheets and pillowcases, enhanced from traditional patterns and soft, pretty colors, to complement any decor. And again, the star of our show, Gene Rayburn. That's me, cried Joe. Okay. Now, here we go to round two. Mary Porter. Again, you have a I'll choice. I'll stay with the A. You wanted the A again. You matched three people in the first round. That means only Brett, Charles, and Dee Dee will play. Are you ready? Yo. Certainly. George said, My wife keeps things from me. On our honeymoon, I went out for a walk, and when I came back, she was having a blank. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps things from me. Yes. My wife keeps Mind things from George me. George is not too bright. My wife keeps information from me. <laughs> Flying Mary Ann's way. <laughs> Mary Porter's way. <laughs> Mary Porter, are you ready? Oh, I... George I said... My wife keeps things from me. On our honeymoon, I went out for a walk, and when I came back, she was having a blank. A baby. A baby? <laughs> All right, Charles. I play. Oh, Brett, I beg your pardon. You're first. I told you George wasn't too smart. Baby. Baby. Okay. I'm sorry. I said an affair with the bellboy Elliot. An affair with the bellboy, Elliot. And what do you say? Baby! Baby! That's going to be fun. Okay, Marianne, let's see how you do with yours. You need four to tie, five to win. Did you hear about Frank the Flasher? Wow! You want to hear about Frank the Flasher? He flashed so many times, he wore out his blink. <laughs> Does this mean really don't write? I guess it does. Yes, you matched in the previous round. Oh, I see. Everyone else except you will participate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary Ann. Did you hear about Frank the Flasher? He flashed so many times, he wore out his blank. His raincoat. His raincoat. He's heard about flashers. Okay, Brett, what do you say? Whee! Raincoat. Raincoat is one. Five to two to score. Something we never need in California, a raincoat. Raincoat. Five to three to score. Two more to tie. Dee Dee Carr. Something we always need in California, an overcoat. An overcoat. Oh, that doesn't match. An overcoat is not a raincoat. 
But a raincoat has to go over something. Uh, no, <laughs> I know. Nice try. All right, Richard. Rain. Raincoat. Five to four to score. I can't tell you. You oh, are in my... the pivotal seat. Oh. Just reminded me of all of the flashers I knew in New York. Just brings back memories. Raincoat. Raincoat. So we end up with a tie score. Five to five. We'll tell you what happens when we get a tie right after this. Now, here's the way it is. What? This is her first time around. She was I very she was good. Quite good. Very Did you think good. she was quite good? Very good. Yes. Thank you. Would you care to come back again sometime? Oh, yes. Good. Splendid. What? Oh, time to say who will be here next time. These are the ones. Nipsey Russell, Rex Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Denise Duberry, Richard Dawson, and Mary Wick. Team Raven here, join us next time for Match Game 78. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 78. Amar Goodson, Bill Todman, production.